All right, so this is my first video, so bear with me if I uh, don't quite go through it, do it very well. Um, first, you're just going to Google e amusement, and it's going to be this very first one you see. So you'll click that, and then you'll click this red button that says login. If you don't already have it synced, let me go back. You have to click this blue button, which just says free registration, and then you'll have to make an account. Uh, once you right here is your this first thing is your country and region. So you know you can just go all the way down to the United States, and when you do it, it changes to English, and then you can just fill out the whole registration and do that just like you would register for anything else. Once you have it registered, you'll click the red login button. You put your ID there and the password you made right there, and this is just. Um, saying that you're not a robot, so you'll click it, and you'll have a whole bunch of, uh, it'll tell you, like right here, it says select um, images that are roads. So you're going to select this image. Um, actually, I think it's road signs, I'm sorry. It's this one, this one, this one, and this one. So it should go, yes, yeah, so it went through. Let me um, go ahead and log in real quick to show you what else to do. Um, this is just a one-time password, which you, you're not going to have, so it won't matter. And you'll just hit the uh, Agree to the Terms and Login button, which is the red one. And once you get to this page, uh, you'll click the E-Amusement button here on the top. And if your card is already is not synced to your uh, E-Amusement account, uh, you'll click this very first one right here, which is register Konami ID with your amusement pass. This uh, this blue stuff right here, uh, 16 digit um, numbers has to be English too if you're gonna put letters. Um, this is just saying that you have to use your your Konami pass, your e amusement card on the machine first before you can actually register it. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. And then this is gonna say, or this says, um, if it's already registered with another Konami ID, it won't work. Um, so, after you have it registered, uh, which this first blank is going to be what's on the back of your e-amusement e card, the numbers that are on the back of that, and then the four-digit code you make for the machine when you play to uh, log in is what you're going to put on the second one. And after that, uh, it'll, it'll say complete at the top, and you'll it should have a whole list of like stuff, like... It, DDR and some other stuff that Konami does. You'll just click the DDR one. And when you click the DDR one, you'll get to this page. And this part's not too or not too hard. You just click the settings button, with the blue stuff at the top here. And right here is your dancer name. And then it's just more specifically where you live, but it's looking for reg uh, regions and prefectures, which it's not going to pull up anything. Um, at first, I thought this was talking about the character. Like, you can't change your character unless you pay, but it's just your dancer name. You can't change your dancer name unless you have the monthly subscription. Uh, this is about your body weight and stuff, and this is how many calories it shows when you play a song. Um, this right here is your character settings. You can select whatever character you want. And then right here, you get to the screen uh, display settings. The first one is the arrow type. If you want to change that, you just click the little thing at the bottom here which just means to change and you can you have to select the circles not the actual image but the circle underneath it uh, whatever area you want to use I just use a normal one and you'll hit the first button at the bottom it says to change it the second one is to cancel and then it'll say your settings have been uh, saved and you just hit back which is the option below it and then this second one to the right is your guideline um, display which is what I think me and Danielle and a few others are wanting to get rid of because it's really annoying. Uh, you'll click the change button and you just click the one that says off, which is the very first one, and then you'll hit change. And you'll hit back again after it saves it. And then uh, the filter is the third one down there and just repeat the same process. If you don't want to filter, just hit off and you get dark, darker, and darkest. I just have it on darkest. And after you... After this right here, or I'm sorry, after this right here pops up, um, it just says that your settings have been uh, saved. So um, that's it. 
After that, y'all, everybody should be good. These two things on the bottom are for only for only for subscriptions. Um, and it's it has to do with I'm pretty sure this first one, which is judgment display priority, is just having to do with like if you're too late or too early. And then this is timing judgment display. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe like you can you can change the way the perfect and marvelous look on it. I'm not too sure. Uh, it doesn't go into detail on it. But that's it. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it's easy to understand. It's my first video doing something like this. So have at it.